Hey everyone, for this hairstyle we're going to make a French braid on each side of her head. So I'm beginning this braid right here at the front. And I am going to spray a little bit of water to start with, just so that we don't have flyaways. So I'm splitting this strand into three and I'm going to be bringing the outside pieces over the middle strand. You could actually do a Dutch braid if you prefer. Either one will work. So now that I've braided this down to the point where I'm right here, basically at the top of her head on the back, this time instead of bringing this outside strand over into the braid, I'm going to leave it out. She's going to hold it for a minute. And then I'm going to replace it with a strand here on the side and just braid it right in. This is basically the same way you would do a waterfall braid, but I'm just doing it that one time and then I'm going to continue braiding as usual the rest of the way down. So now that I'm down to the bottom of that French braid, I'm just going to tie this off temporarily while I braid the other side. So I'm basically going to do the exact same thing over here. I'm going to try to leave a strand out right across from this one in the same spot. Okay, so I braided this down about the same length that I did this braid on the other side where I left the strand out. So again, I'm just going to take this piece out and have her hold that. And then I'm replacing it with a strand from underneath and just braiding it right into the braid again. So I'm just going to continue this down until I get to the very bottom. So now that I have both of those sides braided, I'm going to take these strands that I left out and braid them. You can do whatever kind of braid you would like. I'm just going to do twist braids because they are quickest for me. If you want to do a regular three strand braid, you can do that as well. But I'm just going to braid both of these down to the very bottom and tie them off with a clear rubber band. So now that I have both of those braided, there's a variety of things you could do and some of it is going to depend on the length of hair you're working with. If you're working with shorter hair, you're probably only going to be able to twist this one time, so you could just cross them over like that. Another thing you could do is take them and cross them twice and add them like that for a little bit different look. We are actually going to cross this a couple of times. So I'm taking one side at a time and I'm going to bring it over to the braid on the other side and just kind of thread it through. So I've threaded it through the one side of the braid. Now I'm going to bring it back over to the other side and this time I'm just going to kind of push it down through the middle and bring it out through the bottom. And then same thing on this side, I'm going to bring it across and try to find about straight over to thread it through so that it stays even. And then same thing on this side, I'm just going to push it down through the middle of the braid. Now I'm going to remove this elastic and just begin braiding again and I'm going to incorporate this twist braid right into that so it kind of disappears. And then just braid it down to the bottom and tie everything off. And then of course I am going to repeat the same thing over on this side. Okay, so we're going to leave her hair just like that. If you wanted to, you could actually take these braids and wrap them up into some kind of a bun if you wanted, more for an updo. But that is the finished look.